Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be looking at what are their hidden thoughts and secret feelings about you and the connection. There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Angel Aura Quartz Point, along with these cards. Group two is the Citrine Point, along with these cards. And group three is the Clear Quartz Point, along with these cards. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead, which I do recommend using so that you can skip over me shuffling cards in between groups to clear the energy of the group I've just read for and tap into the energy of the group I'm about to read for. So again, I'll give you a minute. Please use the timestamps and we'll get into your reading. Hi, group one. You chose the Angel Aura Quartz Point. Along with these cards, which I'll start with to get a general overview of their hidden thoughts and secret feelings about you. We have a change in the wind. Lightning, power. and visions of life beyond death. So there has been a profound shift in this person in how they are viewing you and the connection and the possibilities of what might develop between you in the future. Um, either what is possible or possible to be um, kind of reignited if this is a situation of complete no contact um, between you. There may be a lot of telepathy that has been going on recently um, or has just started to pick back up. You might really be sensing this, that you are heavily on this person's mind um, and that their mind is changing, where at one point in time they may have only been viewing this as um, you know, a connection that didn't really have the ability to go anywhere, something that was said, something that was done, circumstances within themselves, within their life, maybe other sort of romantic entanglements that they had that really stood in the way of how they envisioned this connection with you might unfold. Um, it almost feels that for a lot of people these things are coming to a close or that they have already moved away or moved out of a third party situation perhaps. There is a freedom, there is an expanse that is opened up in this person's life and is it is causing them to reevaluate the potential of what might develop or be rebirthed between the two of you with this idea of visions of life beyond death. 
um, secretly they are wanting reconciliation they are wanting another chance um, they are wanting to re-spark or reignite the connection between the two of you with that idea of life beyond death and then also this lightning energy this power um, they may have gotten some downloads some kind of an epiphany something that has come through in the dream state that is making them feel like this is less of a lost cause than they had previously envisioned it to be um, again maybe changes that have occurred within themselves that has now opened up the potential of what could develop or a sense of this person stepping into more personal of their own personal power taking their power back from circumstances taking their power back from excuses maybe fears of um, what people would think of the connection any kind of a lack mentality that they had been operating from in terms of their ability to really rise to meet you at the level, almost an energy of putting you on a pedestal and maybe feeling themselves to be a little inferior to that. There's an intensity to this connection um, that goes beyond just the ordinary sort of chemistry that they have experienced in romantic connections in the past that was very alluring for them and at the same time very overwhelming. Um, you are different in many ways um, and it feels like primarily energetically speaking something within you something at the soul level that is very different um, from what they have experienced of love before from what they have known of love before you don't fit very neatly into that sort of worldview that they had at one point in time or in a life that they have constructed for themselves and this has been a conundrum it has been something that even in separation, even in silence, um, if this is someone who is still in your life, but maybe things have kind of um, slowed to a trickle at this point in time, or there are still these kind of perceptions of walls and barriers between the two of you, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, they're thinking very heavily about this, almost this energy of problem solving, of um, kind of working with a Rubik's Cube almost, and trying to sort of find these passageways, find these pathways, trying to kind of put every Thing in order um, or to reorder their life in, in different ways in order to kind of figure out how this can fit, um, how this can work between the two of you. Um, crunching numbers in some cases, thinking of the logistics, making plans as far as changes that need to happen within their life in order to be able to create that space necessary for this connection to germinate, either to be completely rebirthed or if this is someone who may have just recently returned out of a period of no contact or it's somebody you're starting to develop things with um, they are really looking more in the long term of this situation beyond kind of the the conditions or the circumstances that the two of you really face currently and they're looking into this this kind of further horizon beyond the line of sight looking beyond just um, what the materials are that you both have to work with right now and what is possible for that um, they're starting to really extract and see the potential of something beyond all of it um, also, as far as their, their kind of hidden thoughts and secret feelings, um, this is bringing up past life to energy. Um, so there's definitely a soul recognition that they have with you. Um, and this may be something that is very new for this person. Again, uh, with the idea of a change in the wind, a change in their mindset, this is not how they have viewed the world. Um, you know, they may be, obviously, as a lot of people are familiar with the term of reincarnation, but it might not have been anything which applied to them personally. Um, for some people, you know, depending on kind of their religious or spiritual beliefs, that may be a term which resonates though as well. Um, however, prior to encountering you and encountering this situation, it didn't really have a practical application. It was something they may have known the definition of, conceptually they knew it, but they didn't know how that soul recognition, how encountering somebody um, with kind of these deep threads of past life connection, how that would feel, what that would spark and instigate within them as far as this recognition, maybe even visions, visions of past lives that the two of you have shared together, um, dreams that are coming through that are very significant, that all of that might be very overwhelming, alluring and overwhelming overwhelming to this person. There's a lot of illumination that is coming through that is really giving them um, kind of this wider vantage point of um, cycles of life, their place in kind of the grand cosmic scheme in the web of life, um, what is possible, what maneuvers and moves are possible, things that may really have been triggered and are surfacing in terms of core wounds from their past in this incarnation, blocks and barriers to um, 
how open they have been to inviting love into their life, how they have been able to nurture that and sustain that, or things they have been doing or tendencies within them to thwart that, to, to kind of extinguish that loving vibration and to keep themselves um, very limited and encapsulated in a particular way of being. This is also bringing forth a lot of core wounds stemming from previous incarnations um, that they have shared with you bitter and sweet um, instances and, and kind of these memories and these recollections of deep intimacy that the two of you shared. Um, times when the two of you, you know, were married, you had children, you had a family together, or, you know, it was this deep kind of best friend bond. You may have been siblings. This may have been a parent-child dynamic. Um, this thread of love it fills between you and this person has taken on many forms across many different um, times and, and across space. Um, it is also bringing forth a lot of these um, kind of unhealed wounds, things that have lingered in the soul um, about times where this potential, this recognition was unactualized between you in a particular lifetime because of circumstances, culture, class, um, you know, the, just the way the world was or where you found yourselves um, at that point of intersection that this sense of longing and loss has stayed with them as well. Times where, um, you know, the connection was successful between the two of you, but then death tore you apart, uh, maybe earlier than you would have liked, prematurely, um, through dramatic or, or very unfortunate circumstances. And kind of, again, the core wounds of that um, really being associated with you at the soul level. Um, and it feels very much mirrored in a lot of ways, these same kind of series of sensations, the bitter and the sweet, you have experienced these as well with this person, things that have not been so easy to put your finger on because they they almost transcend the current lifetime. They transcend, um, again, kind of the idea of re reincarnation and past lives, but then to truly experience that in a visceral way by encountering a soul that you are so deeply entwined with across time and space and beyond death. Um, it's very different in practical application than in just what is spoken or, or what is learned or known about that. When you actually experience that, when you're actually face to face with that individual, you're connecting with them on the soul level. What is stirred, what is awakened, what is brought up from the emotional depths and from the core. Um, there are no words to express that and as much has been kind of prepared for in terms of a body of knowledge, particular practices or a belief system, um, the practical application of that is very intense. It can be very overwhelming and very confusing um, and it almost feels like this person may have taken some of that intensity and their sort of instinct was to um, kind of run to move away from this connection, but with the idea of a change in the wind, they are changing their mind about that. Uh, they are slowly kind of opening up to the possibility. They are being drawn and magnetized back to you. Um, and this is also tying into the energy of um, their resistance is crumbling. They are starting to really appreciate this very magical and otherworldly quality between the two of you. A lot happening internally where, you know, again, this idea of illumination with the lightning, um, things are becoming clear for them or they are leaning into this element of trust and allowing themselves um, to, you know, without proof, without a way to explain these things and even, you know, something that transcends the logical mind, they are allowing themselves to um, just kind of lean into this, lean into this sensation, um, really just have faith in what is coming through, what they are, you know, drawn towards in terms of you, what is really being dredged up from their subconscious in terms of core wounds and triggers from this life and previous lives that they are meant to really face and address and, and illuminate within themselves, trusting in this process um, and this kind of transfiguration that is happening internally. A lot of thoughts directed towards you about what has happened in the past between you um, in this lifetime and other lifetimes and also this idea with visions of life beyond death. Um, a lot of thought that is being invested in into a reimagining of this connection, um, reconciliation, a reinvigoration, or um, just moving beyond uh, the kind of the circumstances and the, the dynamic between the two of you. If this is somebody who um, is in your life and there's a degree of communication happening with you in a 3D sense at this time. So I'm going to get some tarot to get a little more clarification about this for you.
Okay, and we have the sun, which is Leo energy. And in this deck, it is called illumination and growth. Justice, which is Libra energy. And in this deck, it is called soul contract. And the tower, which is Aries energy. And in this deck is called divine intervention. Um, so three major arcana, very powerful energy. Um, this idea with the tower that ties in well with the lightning um, these dreams, these epiphanies, these visions, these sudden realizations, a shift that is occurring within them in terms of um, how they are viewing the circumstances between you, what has happened in the past, um, clarity that is coming as far as the significance of this bond, this idea of a soul contract, the timelessness um, of the two of you, and sort of what has happened up to this point, what has happened in previous lifetimes, that this is a life, this is now a time where change is possible. The limits that you have experienced or that you currently face with one another is not all there is. There is more to the story. There are deeper layers to this dynamic between the two of you. It is not an accident that the two of you have encountered one another. And though it might, may be very difficult for this person to put that to words with the idea of sun and this illumination and growth and it's um, the sunrise here, that they're starting to come into this point of clarity. This ties in really well again with that, that energy of lightning and, and the tower these things that are coming in bursts. Um, it is growing within this person internally. Um, it's something that it feels that they are uh, keeping to themselves. This is an energetic shift that is happening. It is a gradual process of um, kind of seeing a larger perspective of this circumstance. Circumstance, seeing you with um, more clarity, um, again, recognizing that it is not an accident that the two of you um, have met, that the two of you have encountered one another. Very intense feelings that they have for you. A lot of thoughts, a lot of thoughts about what has happened um, in this lifetime, regrets that they have, um, points where they are very proud of themselves and how they showed up in this circumstance, in this situation. A yearning to um, come out of some kind of a shadowy or a cold energy between the two of you, um, to break down these barriers and these walls of silence and reinvigorate this this situation, reignite that, to explore that spark and that, um, that kind of thread of love, these cords of love that attach the two, the two of you to one another, that transcend time and space. Um, it transcends the distance. They feel you at a distance. They feel you energetically. They feel you running through their veins. Um, they are able to perceive themselves from a wider lens that encapsulates you as well. Um, you have had a very profound effect upon this person energetically. You continue to have a very profound effect upon them energetically. Um, this is something where they are becoming very cognizant of that, the ongoing um, and, and very otherworldly worldly quality of this energy exchange between the two of you, um, leaning into that energy of the telepathy, exploring that more, um, recognizing that, honoring that, and participating with that more, starting to peel back the layers that um, what has happened between the two of you has not been accidental. Um, kind of moving beyond any energy of defeat or um, pivoting away from this situation and there's a magnetization back towards you. Again, obstacles, barriers, maybe that they created themselves. Um, these things are starting to crumble. These things are starting to erode and there is a wider vista that is now opening up as far as what can develop between you in the future and how this ties into um, what you have experienced together in this lifetime and even lifetimes previous to this. It's like the next chapter of this very long saga between the two of you. Um, and they are starting to really recognize and appreciate that um, in a way that feels very endearing. Uh, there's a warmth to this energy. Um, they are starting to acclimate to the intensity of this connection and looking at the dynamic between the two of you, you on an energetic level as a source of potential rather than um, as something to be kind of feared or or pivoted away from as they may have done in the past. So I'm going to get um, some messages from their higher self and see what do they want you to know at this time. Okay, and they say, I just have something else 
to do right now. Please try and understand. Um, so this really does speak to a process of alchemy within this person as the veil is being lifted, the blinders are coming off and they are opening up more to um, kind of some triggers within them things in their life that are needing to shift or needing to kind of crumble down, maybe that have already started to um, kind of dissolve with that energy of the tower, um, other connections that they were in, excuses that they were making, other, you know, commitments maybe uh, to their family, commitments to job or to a certain path that they were walking. Um, all of that is really in this process of being reshaped and reformed. Um, and it feels that if this is complete no contact or if things have just kind of they're at a minimum this person is just sort of you know keeping things very surface level with you at this time um, it does feel that they don't want to remain in that energy long term but there are other things which need to play out more that they need to kind of sift through more that they need to figure out or more that they need to almost declutter from their life or from their energy from their subconscious and from their psyche before they are in that place of personal empowerment um, to be able to provide something measurable toward the reinvention or reinvigoration or reimagining of this connection and what is possible between you in the future. And they also say no other compares to you. Um, so if they have entered into other romantic connections, they have not been able to um, kind of replicate the intensity and the bond that they share with you at a soul level. Um, if this is somebody who has just kind of remained single, unattached, maybe just focusing on work or other things, um, wanting to keep their options open, this does tie into a lot of that thought that is happening very quietly, thinking back on other romantic connections they have, the ideas of love that they have either been shown or have been um, kind of brought up to believe or have personally experienced and in some way this defies all of that um, and it is redefining for them the nature of the of love the nature of potential the nature of um, what is possible within them and what is possible to be experienced between two people um, in this lifetime they also say you feel like home to me so this is that energy of the past life connection, this soul familiarity, this soul contract that the two of you have encountered each other over many lifetimes in many forms and fashions. Um, there's a, seal, a feeling of sanctuary, um, a feeling of safety that they have with you. Um, and that may have been very overwhelming to them and also caused them to kind of pivot or push away from this connection at some point in time or currently, um, feeling very exposed, feeling very much that you could see beyond the masks, you could see beyond their own um, even kind of lack mentality and recognizing that wholeness within them, um, very accepting of this person, very, you know, understanding of the process and where they are at in their life. And it is very alluring to them. It is drawing them back in and at the same time is very uncharacteristic from what they are used to experiencing in dynamics in their life. They also say, I feel too much pressure right now. So that is the energy of the tower, things that are crumbling or that are getting ready to crumble as this person is really expanding on the soul level, uh, this energy, this dynamic between the two of you, a lot of activations, downloads, dreams, epiphanies. Um, it's a lot of pressure to continue on in the status quo and whatever life they had built for themselves, whatever relationships they had kind of settled into or, or moved back into um, or had really told themselves with, was everything that they were looking for. Um, somehow the box that they had limited themselves to, um, they have broken beyond these barriers on an energetic level. And it's a lot of pressure and struggle to kind of keep those masks and those illusions in place in a material realm. Their soul is screaming out for more. Their heart is screaming out for more. Um, and it's becoming more and more disillusioning to look around them and to see that that more, that want, that craving, that yearning that they have within, it cannot be found or satiated sufficiently for very long or at all in the circumstances that they are currently participating in or that they have known in their life up to this point. They also say, I just want you to be happy. So this feels like they um, will continue to kind of keep their distance, stay very remote from you, not invest fully or even um, reach out with communication until some other things have really been settled and sorted out within their life. They don't want to overcomplicate matters. Um, there's a sense almost from the higher self level of uh, a very necessary period of coming to that illumination, um, kind of closing out certain cycles within their life. Uh, to come forward now or to open up more at this period 
end of time um, would just overcomplicate matters. They are not in a place of being able to give of themselves fully. They are still acclimating to the possibility and potential of what can exist and grow between the two of you. Um, and they're also very cognizant, very aware of things that they have created or are participating in in various ways in their life um, that stand in direct opposition to that, um, that are barriers, that are walls, that are complications that need to be figured out. They need to be sorted out and sifted through and closed out um, before kind of opening up the door to a new beginning with you, a reinvigoration of this connection, um, or for taking things to the next level or taking them a step further. And they also say, I look at your picture often. Um, so they could be watching you on social media, looking back on old photos. This also feels, um, again, like, like memories, like thoughts, um, going back in their mind about times that they spent with you. Um, something about your eyes that is very, very significant. It's that soul recognition. Um, although your face is different, they recognize you across many lifetimes and they have not felt this way about anyone before. It's, it's very otherworldly. It's very intense, this sensation of knowing, the sensation of recognition, um, and leaning into that, thinking on that, contemplating that, or again, um, you know, looking at literal photos of you, it is stirring something within this person. Um, and it feels like just in many different ways, the voice within them is encouraging them to remember, remember who you are to them, remember who they are, um, and to remember kind of, uh, despite all the obstacles, the very transcendent power of love that um, even death cannot separate, death cannot tear asunder, um, and that, you know, time is really an illusion. There is a timelessness to this dynamic that exists between the two of you. And in the phase that you, cur that you currently find yourselves in, um, there are a certain series of tasks and obligations and challenges that sort of stand in between the full actualization of this potential. Uh, but they are being encouraged to remember kind of that core truth and that core reality and that core knowing um, that after all is said and done, the very definition of love is kind of the ever-changing dynamic that exists between the two of you and has always existed. So I'm going to get some guidance from Spirit now about the situation. And we have self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Um, so this is really guidance about, again, um, things that this person needs to close out and clear up within themselves more illumination that needs to come. And this is talking about patience, um, about taking the focus off of an expectation of how or when things will evolve or um, will be re-sparked in this connection. Um, focusing on sort of what is surfacing within you in conjunction to this situation. Um, core wounds, abandonment wounds, rejection wounds, even things stemming from previous lifetimes. Doing what you can with what you have to work with right now, the feelings that are surfacing within you, um, to cleanse your energy, to raise your vibration, to shift your focus onto um, what you do have the ability to work with, what needs to be kind of cleared or resolved in your life in other ways, to um, make you more of a clear channel to both give and receive this very higher level love that is possible um, between the two of you. So at this point in time, as this person is in this process of kind of sifting through things and tying up loose ends, you're definitely encouraged to do the same, but to create a balance between all this heavy lifting and shadow work um, by taking time to just really appreciate this journey, appreciate where you are right now, as arduous as this has been, as difficult and, um, you know, as kind of uh, painful and yet exhilarating as this experience is, um, you know, it's, it's very important to applaud yourself for being so brave at the soul level to embark upon this kind of next evolution in the love story between you and this individual um, again in this lifetime. And a great way to applaud yourself is, again, just really taking the time to appreciate how far you have come, looking toward the future and um, what you want to experience in other ways, taking the time to rest, um, taking the time to really pamper yourself and take care of yourself. Um, 
cleansing and clearing away uh, toxic patterns within yourself is also a beautiful act of self-care. Energy cleansing may be very um, crucial for you. That can be salt baths, that can be sound healing, um, Reiki therapy, Reiki sessions, or if you yourself are certified in Reiki, um, you know, doing that for yourself, giving yourself that gift, healing and helping yourself in order to be um, of greater service to others and ultimately of greater service to this connection. Um, being that inspiration and almost that guiding light as far as navigating and working through the density of what surfaces in conjunction with what is activated through this connection, which helps this person to also um, kind of energetically follow suit organically at their own pace. So I'm going to get some initials and this can be first, middle, or last name of you or this person or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got L, N, V, P, G, H, I, B, C, and J. So those are your messages, group one. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer pre-recorded video readings. I've just brought back written readings and I also offer channeled love letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group two. We chose the citrine point along with these cards, which I'll start with to get an overview about what are their hidden thoughts and secret feelings about you. We have Treasure Island, Dance, Celebration, and Listening for Truth. So they are seeing the value in you that they may have overlooked before. Um, they may have been listening to the opinions of others or um, even listening to fear in the past that could have really caused them to undermine this connection, to not take a chance. This could have been um, 
kind of an energy of a missed opportunity or a false start, something that never really got off the ground or that they were very timid as far as investing in this, as far as opening their heart. They hold a lot of love for you um, with this idea of the, the treasure box here, the treasure chest, um, with all these little hearts um, floating around on the back of this turtle, which can also speak to this very slow moving energy, kind of this Knight of Pentacles energy um, that they have been very slow to open up to you um, at the heart space. Maybe even, you know, the words I love you had been on the tick, tip of both of your tongues, um, only to not be spoken in the past. Um, and there's a little bit of regret that is coupled with that, at having not taken that chance, not having um, shown you more appreciation or gratitude, um, just for the simple things, for, you know, the sense of joy and celebration that they feel in your presence, these butterflies, um, the sense of having wings, um, just feeling very uplifted. They find you to be a very calming force, um, a very nurturing force. You have a lot of wisdom within you, something even just in mundane conversations that you have. There's a vibration that is exchanged that unlocks a lot of truth within this person. You bring them a lot of clarity and a lot of strength as well. Um, and so it feels that as slow as they are to kind of um, open up to the next layers of this connection, um, to move back towards you with some kind of an offer, or some kind of an apology, um, secretly they really are thinking about that. They're thinking about opening up. Um, they're thinking about what they would do if they had the opportunity, if they had the chance, if they had just one more shot at doing things right, um, that they would really seize that opportunity. Um, there is this kind of hidden desire to return to you in a very positive energy to deliver some kind of truth. Um, again, it feels like the expression of feelings that they had not been very deep with in the past. They had not been very clear. They may have just been very vague about that. Um, they may have expressed some of this truth or, or let some of that slip a little too prematurely. And then that may have made them very nervous. They kind of clammed up or, or sort of pulled away or retreated. Um, but there's this, this element here of wanting to really make up for that, make up with, for some mistakes of the past, to do things right, um, to take control of this situation and to be very proactive. Um, this energy of kind of this slow moving energy it's these, uh, this feeling of wanting to make you feel very appreciated and very celebrated on a regular basis, not just once in a while, not just on a special occasion, um, but it's these, it's these thoughts of really how to do this, how to really make you feel special and extraordinary to them, um, how to really do this consistently, so that if in the past they gave you um, reason to doubt kind of their intentions or their commitment to this, there's an energy of wanting to course correct, move away from a previous way of approaching this situation and to um, demonstrate to you actions which are consistent with words of change, which are consistent with affirmations of love. Um, there's this idea with dance of, um, you know, these, these kind of these hidden thoughts about working with you, compromising with you, going into the flow of this circumstance, facing their fears and moving through that. Um, a desire to really dance with you again. Uh, maybe literally you two danced at one point in time and it's a memory that has stuck with them and they, they want more of that. Not just one more instance of that, um, but you really... You give them a cause to celebrate something about your energy or just who you are as a person, um, you know, really kind of looking at that, looking at your presence in their life. Um, they feel very uplifted when they are around you. It almost feels that any decision to move away from you has filled them with like a darkness, like a forlorn energy. They have moved in the wrong direction um, or they have missed a chance or, or kind of this slow pace at taking things to the next level. Um, it is really delaying this celebration, this joy, this bounty and blessing which wants to burst forth. So much love that they have for you, so many unspoken words um, that are very heavy within their heart. Um, and so these kind of hidden thoughts and secret feelings are, it fills a lot of that as strategy, as navigation, um, is looking at things from a long-term perspective, um, listening to their heart, shutting out the voices, putting the mute button on the fears or the naysayers that may have caused them to um, kind of delay or, or slow down or be overly cautious. Um, instances of heartbreak in the past that have caused them to put up barriers or walls to opening up to the blessing of 
new connection fully um, and kind of a course correction from that instead of investing so much in kind of that that negative energy there's a positivity that is starting to really come online for this person a desire to take a chance in a new direction in this circumstance and in their life um, a lot of thoughts that are being invested into how to metamorphosize this connection how to return to you um, wanting to make sure even perhaps even um, drafting emails or text messages rehearsing what they want to say getting very clear within themselves listening to their heart and that internal truth about what needs to be conveyed in order to leave no confusion as to their true intentions their willingness and ability um, to invest more fully or for the first time in a situation with you so i'm going to get some tarot to get a little more clarification about this Okay, and we have the Page of Wands, which is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And in this deck, it is called Excitement and Curiosity. Queen of Cups, which is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And in this deck, it is called Intuitive and Sensitive. And Three of Pentacles, which is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And in this deck, it is called Collaboration. Um, so these definitely really confirm what was coming through in the Oracle cards This Queen of Cups. They are listening to their heart. Um, they are recognizing and honoring and really starting to work with the love that they have inside for you, taking into account um, experiences that they've had in the past, becoming very cognizant of their own kind of trends and tendencies within themselves, um, and working with that, working with those wounds and shadows, and kind of circumventing these things in order to be able to bring something very prosperous and bountiful to you. This Page of Wands really talks about good news. It talks about, um, you know, these fireworks, this spark, which still exists between the two of you, and a desire desire to really surprise you, to show you a very surprising side to them, uh, maybe reveal a very deep uh, level of emotion that they have for you. Um, this curiosity about what will happen if they reveal this truth, a little bit of trepidation about moving forward to you, um, but this overwhelming desire to um, kind of do something, do something different from how they've been showing up in this connection up to this point or previously. Um, there's an excitement about this. They're almost having to hold themselves back from coming forth prematurely, understanding that for whatever reason, they feel that they have almost one opportunity to get this right, or they don't want to further complicate matters or overcomplicate complicate things um, by not having th thought them through adequately. Um, so again, a lot of planning and strategy that is involved at this time, um, kind of feeling into these this love that they have for you. And it's very exciting for them. Um, again, it's these butterflies or this this kind of this spark, this invigoration that they feel for you. It's, it's a depth. Um, at the heart space that they have really not experienced before with this Queen of Cups. It's a very overwhelming love um, on a very deep level, these very deep feelings that it may be kind of difficult to put these things to words. Uh, they may have never felt like this about anyone before, or you've opened their heart, uh, perhaps for the first time in a long time, that they have had such feelings or allowed themselves to explore these things. They might have been very closed off in the heart space, um, you know, because of heartbreaks of the past or, or fear of commitment fear of intimacy, feelings of not being good enough, um, but you have really sparked and awakened something within them. Um, you encourage them to step towards that, towards that light of love, rather than to continue to retreat into the shadow of fear. Um, the Three of Pentacles really talks about this foundation, that idea of collaboration, wanting to have a fresh start, uh, wanting to rebuild this connection from the ground up by way of an apology, some kind of truth and clarity, some greater depth of expression that they than they had given to you in the past. Or it's this energy of wanting to kind of build further from the point that the two of you find yourselves at, not wanting to just leave things as they are, not wanting this to become a missed opportunity or another missed opportunity in their life. Um, that what they feel for you, it's almost this very childlike energy. It's this this energy of levity. Um, and they really want to, um, you know, allow themselves to be carried on these kind of winds of love, um, allowing the wings that they have within that you have really made them aware of very subtly and substantially, allowing that to carry them forth 
the two of you forth, um, kind of hand in hand, working with each of your kind of shadows and your distortions and your wounds, and also, you know, these threads of love, these threads of potential and hope that exist, um, this spark, this, this ignition within the two of you, to be able to work very mutually toward creating a future um, that is solid, that is stable, and is substantial. Um, they don't want to just keep these feelings hidden within. This is the energy of wanting to express that, um, but a methodical energy, wanting to do this right, seeing a lot of long-term potential. This might be the connection that works. This is the energy of um, kind of the possibility of true love blossoming or being um, kind of reignited between two people. Um, and so at the heart space, in terms of those thoughts and those those feelings, they feel a lot of love for you and they see you as somebody um, very stable that they could really have something substantial with. And you are inspiring them to do the work necessary on themselves to kind of open that, that box within their heart um, and put to word these feelings which are very um, profound and, and very uplifting and very exciting for them, but it might be very new for them to express these things in this way, um, or they haven't expressed this type of love for someone in a very long time. So I'm going to get some messages from their higher self now and see what do they want to tell you. They say, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. So a little bit of fear of inadequacy that is, again, holding them back, causing them to be very methodical and slow, wanting to do things right, um, not wanting to overpromise and underdeliver, a desire to really lay a very solid foundation in this situation. And so they definitely will continue to hold back, continue to hold that truth back, continue to keep those barriers and walls in place until they feel that they are at a level of preparedness to be able to follow through on promises and declarations that they make. They also say, I don't know how I feel anymore. Um, so you again have really instigated or sparked something within them, this profound love that they have not um, explored before, they have not felt this before, or have not felt this in a very long time. Um, a decision to maybe be very closed off or to hold back, that is all changing. Um, but they are still in this process of kind of coming to that truth, how to move forward in this situation, how to express what they truly feel. Um, this may be somebody who is not really good with words or they haven't really explored these kind of deep emotional waters within themselves ever um, or for a very long time. They could be very intuitive, very sensitive, very empathic and psychic. Um, and it's a part of themselves which may not have been encouraged by their experiences or their environment. They were never taught to really lean into these things. They were taught to kind of stuff the emotions, close that heart space off. Um, and so it feels like new territory that is needing to be explored and navigated by them um, kind of internally and, and individually and quietly um, in order to gain some kind of self-mastery and be able to bring you something of substance and value. They also say, I'm in a much better headspace now. So a bit of overwhelm about what they were feeling for you, confusion, and how to put these things to words. There's clarity that, that is coming. They are thinking about all of this. They are, you know, really sensing deeply this, this energy of reinvigoration, this very childlike energy, this innocence that they feel, this giddiness, this excitement. Um, and while it might have been very frightening for them, very, um, you know, brought up a lot of memories about times where they had opened up in the past only to be kind of rejected or, or wounded, um, they're feeling a lot better about it now. They're feeling a lot more confident. Their confidence is building. They are leaning more into this. They are addressing these things, um, sifting through these things within themselves. And again, in this process of kind of um, internally in their mind, maybe rehearsing things, trying to put words to things um, in order to deliver that out in some measurable, tangible way. 
They also say, I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. So again, another confirmation of someone who is rehearsing what they want to say, trying to put words to these feelings, trying to, you know, really explain to themselves and, and think of how to explain to you maybe what has happened between you up to this point or in the past, if an apology is owed, some kind of truth about feelings they have held within you for a very long time, um, and trying to really put the words to that, how to approach this. Again, the sense of feeling that they have just one opportunity or that the first impression or the next step step that is taken that is very crucial, um, that is almost a foundational point that will determine what can develop, what can be grown um, between you in this situation in the future. And so they're putting a lot of priority and importance upon that. They also say, I just want you to be happy. So again, somebody who is kind of holding back at this point in time until they know for sure, um, you know, what they're capable of delivering. Um, they don't want to kind of get your hopes and expectations up only to not be able to follow through on that. Um, they have a lot of love for you. You redefine love for them in a lot of ways and they want to be able to show up for you in that same energy that you really spark and instigate within them. Um, this card also showed up in group one. So if you were drawn to that group as well, you may want to watch it after these messages as there may be additional messages for you there as well. And they also say, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. So another card of that kind of lack mentality, that fear of inadequacy that came up with they, when they don't know if they can meet your expectations. Um, they're still having to kind of move through some barriers of fear. Um, the love they have inside for you, these feelings are very profound. They are very substantial. Um, and it's this process of needing to kind of work up that courage. It's a test. It's a challenge. It's an element of personal growth that needs to take place in order to be able to show up to you um, in a stance in an energy, in an energy of confidence that together the two of you will be able to navigate um, sort of the challenges and the obstacles and to be able to celebrate and enjoy the victories of expressing more deeply or expressing again or for the first time um, the very tangible and substantial and profound feelings that you both have for one another. So I'm going to get some guidance from Spirit about the situation. Okay, and we have integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? So this is really all about, um, you know, honoring yourself and loving yourself. If this person comes back around and what they have to say, what they have to provide, um, words that they speak, if there is not an accompanying action that aligns with that, um, you can demonstrate to them uh, sort of the nature of what love really is by maintaining your boundaries, by maintaining your standards, um, you know, really searching within yourself as heavy as these feelings might be, as, you know, as alluring and intense as this might be as exciting as this may be it really feels like this person is opening a box within themselves or opening a door to the expression and experience of love that could be very new for them they may be dealing with a lot of wounds and triggers so keeping that in mind using a little bit of discernment when they come forward and really checking in with yourself is this meeting your emotional needs and expectations are they demonstrating consistency um, and if it just feels like more of the same or promises that are not delivered upon um, then you know again being that force of love demonstrating self-love by really expressing that you know expressing your concerns expressing your needs giving this person the opportunity to kind of rise to meet you um, is a beautiful way to kind of work with the potential, work with this energy to again collaborate and co-create with them so that the two of you are able to really navigate and sort of build something together, build a new foundation together um, rather than repeating previous cycles or um, kind of investing too fully into something before it really has time to evolve and mature very organically. Um, so just that guidance going forward, it feels like somebody who, who definitely will at some point make a grander gesture to you. They will come back around. They will speak some kind of truth, um, but it's very important to see beyond the words that are spoken and um, really understand actions on the contrast of that um, you know this may be very new for them kind of putting words to emotions and there's a lot that can be demonstrated through actions um, the consistency you know the the holding space the listening the willingness and ability and act of change all of these things can be expressions of love it doesn't need to just be words of love um, so kind of looking at things from many different angles um, when it comes to this person and this situation 
and creating maybe a different sort of patchwork of how you envision this situation would play out or sort of what your ideal is versus what um, this person is able to really offer or what you have to work with in this circumstance. Checking in with yourself, honoring yourself and your needs and expressing those needs to again give this person the opportunity to really rise to meet that. So I'm going to get some initials, and this can be first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got B, G, S, M, U, and A. So those are your messages, group two. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer pre-recorded video readings. I've just brought back written readings, and I also offer channeled love letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group three. I chose the clear quartz point along with these cards, which I'll start with to get a general overview of their hidden thoughts and secret feelings about you. We have poised, music, harmony, and bring it into form. So this definitely feels like somebody who is planning their return or planning to deliver um, some kind of a very sweet message to you with the idea of harmony and then also bring it into form. Um, they are ready to take this connection to the next level with poised. Um, they hold you in very high regard. You stand out among all others that they have been in connections with previously um, or even since the two of you were last together. Um, all these little fireflies here on the bring it into form um, is talking about signs and synchronicities that they have been receiving. Little nudges, um, little clues that are sort of bringing them back around to you and the significance of this connection that have really um, been guiding them. They have been following these signs. These things have not gone unnoticed. This can also talk about dreams and telepathy, that this is very mutually experienced between the two of you. Um, and that can also really talk about the energy of ascension, um, connecting with their higher self, connecting to the higher possibilities of what can really grow out of this situation. Um, 
secretly they really they you stand out about above all the rest they hold you in very high regard um, you are a beacon of light which they move toward um, they feel your presence energetically they feel very uplifted by you you soothe you soothe them you calm them um, even your voice uh, talking to you or maybe you are musically inclined maybe hearing you sing uh, maybe you have something out there on social media where your your voice is 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 out there and you know videos that you make or, or songs that you release um, and they're listening to that a lot they're getting a lot of wisdom and clarity and even just at a vibrational level it's very soothing to them it's the idea of almost mother's milk um, it's very nourishing to them is very reassuring to them about the path that they are walking. Um, again, kind of an, an energy of leaning more into, you know, turning the ideas and the hopes and the thoughts of reconciliation or change or evolution in this circumstance, um, turning that into a reality. It is very much being confirmed by the universe, by these little nudges, by their higher self. Um, they may be getting a lot of songs that are very significant or um, listening to a lot of love songs or, you know, just um, kind of finding a lot of solace in music. Um, they are seeing and recognizing how the two of you, despite your apparent differences, there's a harmony, there's a balance, there's a congruency between the two of you that they have not experienced um, in a romantic connection in any other time in their life. Um, it is not something that they have even, it feels really witnessed as being demonstrated in other romances around them. There's something that is very um, kind of next level. You are that higher love that they have been dreaming of, that they have been searching of. This may have been somebody who needed to walk away from you, walk away from this connection, um, almost have some time and space and distance in order to be able to, pr to appreciate what they share with you, what they have had in the past. Um, and it's this energy of wanting to cycle back around, wanting to come back around in a changed energy, in a changed vibration, more self-aware, um, better prepared, more adequately prepared to invest with you, um, to co-create with you, a desire to um, bring some kind of dream that you two have, a shared vision of the future, some goal, something you want to manifest, or even this idea of harmony and a loving um, connection, a balanced and vibrant connection, seeing this as a distinct possibility possibility to create with you um, here in the material plane. Um, you know, their secret thoughts are not, and their, their hidden feelings is this deep urge, this magnetism to bring down this, um, almost this colluding that the two of you do on the higher self level, interacting with one another, um, you know, in those higher realms from the higher self and this desire to um, kind of bring that down into flesh, bring that down into the material reality. Um, they are not content with just the higher realm connection with the 5D connection. There is this desire to take those steps towards you. Um, to make some kind of forward progress toward turning the page in this situation, um, advancing this situation in some way, exploring the next and deeper levels, the elements of the spiritual dynamic between the two of you in a way that they may not have been open to um, or prepared for previously. It feels like somebody who has gone on a voyage, a deep voyage within. Um, even if this is someone who's still in some capacity in your life or they've made some kind of return to you, they've come back around, um, there's a lot that has changed and shifted within this person spiritually. Um, they, it feels like for a lot of you, they recognize, even if these are words they will not speak aloud, they recognize themselves to be on some kind of ascension path, a spiritual path. They may have undergone a spiritual awakening or are in some way being um, kind of activated and invigorated in that direction in their life. Um, they give a lot of credit to you for that. What may have been something that was a very, um, you know, kind of fraught with a lot of chaos and, and a lot of fear of change. They have leaned into this place of surrender and flow and their life feels better for having met you despite, you know, kind of the turbulence and the shift and the change. They have transcended that. They've come out so, of some kind of a darkness, some kind of a shadowy and hidden energy. There's a lot of light in these cards. It speaks to illumination and truth and a desire to really convey this, um, to come towards you in a changed form, in an elevated form, um, to show you more of the better side of them than they had shown before. Love that they held within that they had not expressed. This is the energy of clarity and truth. Um, these thoughts and these, um, it almost feels like not just daydreams or these, you know, kind of this, this um, whimsical energy of what that future can look like, but with the idea of bring it into form. This is somebody 
somebody who's actively trying to manifest that very consciously. You are that vision of the future. You are that person that they see being by their side to co-create um, you know, what this adventure of life will hold for the two of you for the remainder of your time in these bodies on this earth. Um, and they can't imagine anybody else to, to be that partner, to be that, um, you know, that best friend and that lover in quite the same way that you have been for them in different ways. Um, they, they feel very safe in your presence. They feel very encouraged. They feel very uplifted by you. Um, spiritually, you are definitely a guiding light for them, maybe in how you live your life, things that you put out there, a spiritual practice or business that they know about or that they, that they see. They're able to witness this transformation in you um, and kind of this light within you as you are standing in your authenticity and it has encouraged them to really do the same, to get very clear within themselves about who they are at their core, the direction that they are heading and to course correct to become more into alignment with themselves at the soul level and to allow that to be expressed in the material plane. It feels like the next evolution of this is a desire to um, kind of act more upon the potential that exists between the two of you, raise the vibration in this situation, show up in um, more of an elevated form and fashion than you had known them previously. This can be the energy of reacquainting with one another, almost like you're meeting this person again for the first time because of the profound change that has occurred within them. Um, thanks to you, thanks to this connection, thanks to the exchange between the two of you in the higher realms, um, even while you have a 3D situation with one another or in your absence, in your distance, um, there has been this, this constant interaction that this person is very consciously aware of. Um, so their hidden thoughts are wanting to express that out to you, these feelings, um, wanting to express that deep gratitude, wanting to work with you, to collaborate with you, to cooperate with you. You, um, so that the two of you can really um, change these circumstances between you for the better and to actualize all of the potential that exists between you and that you both have been really internally and spiritually and energetically preparing to um, be able to give and receive in a healthy and reciprocal um, and at maximum capacity. So I'm going to get some tarot to get a little more clarification about this for you. We've got the Queen of Cups, which is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And in this deck, it is called Intuitive and Sensitive. Queen of Swords, which is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And in this deck, it is called Sharp and Assertive. And the Moon, which is Pisces and Cancer. And in this deck, it is called Illusions. Um, so before I get started with this, Queen of Cups came out in group two. So if you felt drawn to that group as well, you may want to watch it after these messages. There might be additional messages for you. Um, but this Queen of Swords is a very direct energy. This is the card of communication. Um, what is hidden with the moon, um, these deep kind of intuitive feelings. This can talk about telepathy. This talks about a soul bond, um, ways in which this person may have turned their true face away from you, hidden that authenticity. Um, there's this urge to kind of bring that out in into the light, again, kind of stepping beyond um, the silence or things that were hidden or a version of themselves, um, a dynamic that exists between existed between the two of you in the past, how that potential was really expressed out in the material world. There's a desire to cut through that, um, to cut through these limitations and step out into the light in some way. Queen of Cups also talks again about that um, profound love that they have for you, a very positive and uplifting change that has happened um, through the separation, through the distance, or even, you know, as this kind of connection has been blooming, if this is a new person in your life or someone who has kind of come back around again, um, there's a love that is opening up within them that is very next level. This is higher level love. This is a very spiritual love, a very spiritual connection. And there is a deep desire on their part to express that to you. Um, to add to the measure of your existence in the same way that you have added to theirs, um, to declare some kind of truth that you have had a very positive and profound impact upon them at a soul level, at a spiritual level, at an emotional level um, that is nothing like they have ever experienced before. They are very cognizant now of um, kind of cycles and phases within themselves that needed to be worked through. 
Um, they are in this process of actively breaking through um, kind of these barriers, these barriers around their heart space. A lot of heart chakra activations could be happening. Um, a lot of energy that's exchanged between the two of you. This also really speaks about that telepathy um, that is occurring in the distance, in the silence. Um, and this is the urge to really bring more of that out into the material plane, express these things, not content to just keep that at an energetic level, but wanting to have physical manifestation of these things. Speak that truth, declare that truth, um, tell you that they love you, tell you that they still love you, um, tell you that they hold you above all others. That this connection is unlike what they have experienced before, um, that they may have been prone to kind of dismissing this as being too good to be true, um, a skepticism that maybe all was not what it seems to be, but there's clarity and truth that has come to them and that they are really feeling that this is the real deal, this is true love, um, this is that kind of um, ideal and optimal love that they had always been searching for but had never been able to find. They may have closed themselves off to that idea had just settled or um, you know had kind of moved through life with this sort of forlorn energy this void within them they were unable to fill and on some level um, you 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 reign through them um, you flow through them um, the ascension path the spiritual element to this situation which might have been so overwhelming um, they have worked through this darkness they are they are taking things step by step they are interested willing and able to to really move with this flow through this flow through this current Anything that they have resisted previously in this connection is giving way to um, kind of acceptance, to release, to surrender. There is a desire to grow in love with you, to explore more deeply the potential that exists between you um, and kind of the new levels of love that the two of you might experience and explore together. So I'm going to get some messages from their higher self now and see what do they want to tell you. Okay, and they say, I have never forgotten you, even though you think I have. So in the distance, in the separation, in the silence, you still hold a very um, precious place within them. They again set you apart from all others. Um, the love they have for you has never died. It feels that it has only grown in intensity. You have accompanied them through some shadows, through some um, growth and some work that they have needed to do within. There's a lot of gratitude that they have for you and for um, the very profound impact you have had upon them and upon their life. They also say, I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. So they are filled with some shame and regret at having turned their face away from you previously, at having not um, moved more in your direction, having surrendered to this connection sooner or you know, right from the start. As this clarity and this growth has happened for them, um, the illusions that they may have held about who they are or even um, the nature of this situation or what was possible or what was really meant for them, someone they may have thought was their forever person, um, kind of the type of person that they were looking for, these illusions have all been shattered um, and as they have come more into this core truth of who they are and what they want um, maybe things that they will no longer settle for things that no longer resonate with them this new version of themselves that they have been alchemizing and have been birthing um, through this kind of ascension and spiritual process, you align very much with that vision of who that companion to walk forward into the future with is. Um, and in that energy of clarity is again kind of that regret, that shame, that, um, that sense of foolishness at having not recognized or seen or appreciated or um, you know really taken the opportunity to, to act in a more profound way or consistently um, upon this light that exists within you that very much mirrors the light which they have excavated and um, have discovered and continue to kind of lean more into that exists within them as well. They also say, I've thought a lot about you lately. So that can confirm some telepathy that's been going on. A lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings, feelings about how to um, course correct in this situation, how to take things to the next level. Um, 
again, kind of these these fantasies and these these dreams, but it doesn't feel like in just a whimsical way. These almost feel like actual plans or a certainty, um, a point in the horizon they are being guided toward with all those little fireflies and the synchronicities and you know numbers, seeing your name, seeing reminders of you, all these things that bring them back around many times a day, every day, to the thought of you. Um, almost this thought of, I, I need to get back to you. I need to um, kind of bring myself into your awareness. This need to evolve beyond where things are at currently, whether that is a full silence, a full stop, um, or whether things are just kind of um, at a place where maybe it's comfortable with you, it's just kind of, you know, restarted, you've just kind of, um, you've reached some sort of plateau or things are, you know, they're going very well. There are a lot of thoughts about um, evolution in this situation. Whatever exists between the two of you, this is not the end of the story. This is not all they want to experience with you. There's a desire for more um, and a lot of thoughts at this time about how to really make that um, come into physical manifestation. They also say, I am working towards a better future. So this confirms they are doing a lot of that shadow work. They have done a lot of this healing and this growth and this introspection. They are actively in this process of changing their circumstances, changing their mindset, changing things within their energy um, so that they are able to come to you at that elevated vibration, actively working to meet you at your level. They also say, I am afraid to take that next step right now. So again, a little bit of fear, um, a lot of shame and guilt and regret, feeling very foolish, not really certain how to kind of course correct, um, but it's this yearning, it's this, you know, this kind of unshakable notion within them that they have to get back towards you. They have to keep um, diving deep within self. They have to keep doing this work within themselves for themselves um, primarily but it also feels very apparent to them that these roads lead back to you. All roads eventually lead back to you. Um, they, you aren't out of their mind for very long. You are never out of their heart. You remain with them. You have been their companion. You are their companion in spirit and at the soul level through this journeying um, within their own life. But it feels that they may also still be in the process of kind of wrapping up some cycles within themselves. Um, it feels that a lot has changed in their material reality. Um, a lot has changed even energetically within them and um, that it may be kind of at that point of um, a bubble that is getting ready to burst where this energetic change within them will no longer sustain um, kind of some material circumstances that they're participating in or a world that they have built for themselves. There can be some hesitation and trepidation about that because they are understanding that their life is about to take on new meaning, a new velocity, a new chapter is getting ready to open up. And there's some fear, fear about taking that next step, fear to fully um, surrender and immerse themselves in this, a pull, a guide that is really learnt, leaning them back in towards you. You are like music to their soul. Um, they can't help but be drawn back in your direction, the deeper that they are being drawn into themselves. Um, and there's an excitement here. There's fear with that as well, because it's very unknown. This higher level love, this element of true love, um, the love that they have always dreamed of, the type of partner they have always dreamed of. Um, you know, it, it feels so tangible. It's everything that they want, and yet they are so afraid because this is unlike anything they have ever known or what they had come to believe was possible for them um, at all or at this point in their life. They also say, you still take my breath away. Um, so they're thinking back on times they spent with you, maybe looking back at old photos, maybe even watching you on social media that came through with the music um, card and something about your voice. Um, so if you have a social media presence or maybe you make music um, and the ways in which they are able to see that, interact with that, you take their breath away, you still have a very profound impact upon them. These signs and these reminders, these synchronicities with all those little fireflies, um, you have never ceased to um, be a very measurable force of change within this person. Um, you know, they are recognizing you as that spiritual companion for them. Um, they see you as somebody who just becomes more radiant and more beautiful as time goes on. The more you lean into your authenticity um, and you move toward that kind of higher purpose, that optimal version of self, um, it's breathtaking to witness this transformation within you. And you encourage this person in ways you might not even imagine to continue that process of unfolding, um, surrender, release, and rebirth within themselves as well. So I'm going to get some guidance for you about the situation. Okay, and we've got forgiveness. 
Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So this can really be that um, kind of indicator that this person um, quite likely will come back around um, and let you know, not just asking for forgiveness, but really providing you with an explanation of what they have learned um, during your time apart, um, letting you know the ways in which you have profoundly affected them. You have profoundly activated something within them as they step more closely to their authenticity. They step more into their truth. They become that living embodiment of personal truth. Um, the way in which they show up towards you, it may be very different. The words that they use, the energy that they hold, maybe even dramatic and profound lifestyle changes that they have made. Um, that this is a real possibility where you are needing to even confront some residual shadows, a little bit of resentment within yourself, hurt, sadness, fear, loss, pain associated with this circumstance. Um, but that on the other side of that is such a beautiful ability for the two of you to really heal one another. Tears that may be cried, emotions that may need to be expressed. Um, and you're encouraged to really lean into that, to honor yourself, honor whatever comes up very organically, even at this point while you're thinking about this circumstance. Um, you know, forgiving yourself for any ways in which you you settled or compromised your integrity, um, you know, settled for less than you were worth, tolerated being part of, you know, maybe some um, kind of toxic or limiting patterns of behavior um, in yourself or with this person, um, you know, operating from the energy of forgiving this person as well for how they have shown up in the past, any kind of demonstrations of, of fear or low vibration or distortion that you were kind of confronted with, understanding that at any given time, we are only operating with the tools that we have. And as much as you have been going through profound changes, um, a profound journey of self-love, this person is also going through that process. They are um, honing some new tools for themselves. They are letting go of previous um, sort of methods of being, coping mechanisms and behaviors that no longer serve them. It doesn't serve who they are trying to become. So again, forgiveness can really speak about somebody coming forth with an apology and an opportunity that you have. Um, there's no right or wrong decision in this. You really have to honor yourself, um, what your heart and soul is telling you when this person comes forward. If it feels right to open the door to reconciliation, to working things through, honoring that, recognizing the voice of fear, which may you know try to project and try to kind of thwart the potential of what could unfold between the two of you. If something feels off, if it doesn't feel that this person and you align anymore in terms of your goals and values and who you are, what it is you're looking for, honoring that as well, um, regardless of the intense nature of what exists between the two of you. This act of where forgiveness is a possibility and an apology is, is being presented, that can be a profound act of closure for you that helps you to release any lingering resentment about this situation so that you can move forward towards your um, optimal future. Maybe that's love with another person stepping deeper into love of self by setting those healthy boundaries and, and really honoring, honoring this connection for what it was and the time and space that it was, how activating this was, how much this was a catalyst for the two of you to really um, embark upon this journey of profound love and profound growth and change. And perhaps that's all it is meant to be in this lifetime, but that also seems to be a very distinct possibility um, of something more. Again, the evolution that you've been going through, it is not one-sided. This person is also been going through these changes as well. It may look very different, um, kind of the manner and method of these changes. You may or may not be on the same kind of level and leg of that journey when they return, but it does feel that change is on the horizon in some form in this situation between you and this person. So I'm going to get some initials and this can be first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got S. R, J, M, Z, I, K, N, and T. 
So those are your messages, group three. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. Um, I offer pre-recorded video readings. I've just brought back written readings, and I also offer channeled love letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.